Hi, welcome to our second series of Under the Banda. Thank you for those of you that watched last week and for all the nice comments that we received, which encouraged us to carry on with this series and see how we go. We're going to continue in the same vein as last week, looking around the Word of God, and we trust that you'll really enjoy this second session. John, over to you. Well, as you can see, we've moved our homemade television studio outside now. <laughs> nice environment to be able to speak to you from and uh, we welcome you into our lives in, in Tanga in Tanzania and um, last week we spoke about um, confession against repentance as it were that once you were a Christian uh, that the Bible instructs us to confess our sins in 1 John 1 9 um, and he's faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And we try to offer a we need to keep repenting or just confession deal with the things we get wrong after we Christians. So uh, we, I want to move on from that and, and say that the kind of grace that we get when we come to the law empowers us. To live a, a life for him. And to coin a phrase that we often use in another way, but uh, you'll see what I mean in a moment. We, we often say, in the sense that I haven't got anything better to do. And I remember as a kid, we, we might say that if we were lounging around and our parents uh, <laughs> had a go at us, so to speak, you know, in terms of, uh, you know, haven't you got anything better to do? They would ask. And, no, I haven't got anything better to do. But I want to use that in the sense today of really we haven't got anything better to do than to serve the Lord. And I want to read scripture to us from uh, Matthew's Gospel, chapter 28. This is the Great Commission, of course, at the end of uh, the book of Matthew. And Jesus says, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. We've noticed over the years that when, when that's quoted from memory, as it often is, the Great Commission, then there's a part that's omitted. And the part that's omitted is teaching them to obey everything I've commanded you. And we boiled that down to three things really over the years. And that's the things that Jesus verbally commanded. To love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. To love your neighbor and yourself. And to love the Lord and love you, he commanded the church. And those three things. Uh, Fulfill the law of the prophets, Jesus said, all, all the law of the prophets hang on these, these things. So we haven't got anything better to do than to use our, our lives serving God, particularly in emphasizing uh, the point that I've just made. Over the years, in 1987, Debbie and I went to Bible college, so in a sense we've been serving God since that time a long time it's almost 28 years now and I know as well as me have uh, uh, okay. have thought we can't go on you know we we can't overcome this or we're tired or we're worn out is it time to even leave the ministry mm -hmm. that's happened to us doesn't it many times mm. I think that's that's been the thoughts of any pastor's life or pastor's wife's life that it must be tough, it's got to be difficult, it's got to be lonely as a pastor's wife and it must be really hard and it is hard and and I don't I think that after 28 years we've come to the conclusion that God never intended it to be that way and it shouldn't be that way and it should be that this is the best thing that you could ever do with your life and that if there isn't anything Missionaries, that isn't their experience. 
but it's the reason for that is that what you've just said is because we don't obey the love commands because they're the commands they're the conditions that's what Jesus commanded us to do we don't do that so therefore the devil runs a mock with relationships with friends with people in churches and that's why it's tough because we don't Yeah. <laughs> we will speak to the show. God bless you. Bye. Bye.